So what would we say then? If we were to wrap all these aspects up together um, in a box and uh, ask ourselves how would we articulate um, the theology of science uh, that we've drawn from the biblical wisdom tradition and seen through the perspective of how science actually operates today, let's have a go. We know it's participative, we know it's relational. Uh, and we know it's participative within the human community, but it's also participative in godly wisdom, that wisdom of seeing into the structure of nature. So let's say this. Let's say science is the participative, relational, co-creative work within the kingdom of God of healing the fallen relationship of humans with nature. After all, St. Paul's soundbite he lets us see it in 2 Corinthians um, when he's asked what this crazy new Christianity thing is all about. What he says, well, I'll tell you what it's about. It's about the healing of broken relationships. It's a good soundbite. We all understand that. There are many broken relationships. Um, and just one of the more humble ones is the evidently broken relationship of human beings with the creation, the physical creation we find our, ourselves in. In a sense, theology is a, no more, no less than the healing of all these relationships, which is possible because of the healing of the most important relationship of all, from which hope and the power to heal comes from in the first place. Uh, proposing that science is the equipping gift to allow us to negotiate the dimension of that healing, uh, which is the relationship of, of humankind to the natural world. Now, a lot flows from that. Um, and what you now have to do uh, is to think about what the consequences of that theology of science might be.